You're right, there, YouTube is Cracoon again, bringing you another gameplay. <laughs> Commentary man, we're here again, bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3. Like I do, gonna be bringing you a 6v6 domination on the map underground using the P90 with a suppressor and a rapid fire attachment on there. Uh, on top of that, I'm running the perk setup, Extreme Conditioning Pro, Hardline Pro, Stalker Pro. On top of that, I'm running a specialist drive package. So for my first perk, I'm running Assassin, second Blind Eye, uh, third Scavenger, I believe. I've got a bouncing Betty on a portable radar as my lethal and tactical. And uh, that's about it. Boom! Getting on, doing like we do, man. Obviously, I'm using a gold camo on the P90. And some of you may be thinking, I know what that means. That means that what he's about to do in a second is going to be something to do with him liking gold. But I'm going to stop you right there because I can't be asked doing it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've got to get on with it, you know, doing like we do. The fact of the matter is, this is arguably the first ever mode that I brought to my channel where I'm straight up non stop rushing. Pause of silence, obviously, because it's pretty. Yes, I know it's shocking. I don't know. I, I'd say arguably because I've always thought that my playstyle has always got some kind of rushing aspect added on towards it. But obviously, when you're playing defensively, I mean, there is very little amounts of uh, rushing like mixed in there. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just the way it is. But uh, yeah. Arguably my first ever rushing move and literally it's non-stop rushing. I'm rushing my entire game Back of the map to the front of the map to around the map flanking around the map going around in circles around the map You know a lot of map maneuvering. Oh this guy. I'm sp I don't know why I'm speaking like this Ah, right, whatever getting on with it doing like we do. Yeah, I don't know man It's interesting, but like I said last time in my commentary and explaining this about achievable mobs Compared to mobs like this where potentially a lot of luck is involved. And I don't care what anybody says like, Oh no, you make your own luck. Nah, you don't make your own luck. Luck within the game is always there. You've got to have skill, right? You've got to have skill to get lucky, right? You've got to have skill to get lucky. But, if you're not lucky for the entire kill streak of your, like, oh well, on the mob streak or whatever... Then, you know what, it doesn't count, because there I just got shot in the back. I probably should have died, but I didn't. I burnt round, flipped it, got him, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You can't, you can't pre-anticipate stuff like that. That's literally all down to luck, me surviving that, because any other time, he could have probably killed me. But, you know what I'm saying, like that, it's, it's an interesting scenario, but seriously, like, it's, it's just, I don't know, luck... Compared to like defensive mobs, because obviously defensive mobs are kind of an easier feat to achieve. That's kind of like a simple kind of logic right there. But apart from that, yeah, when it comes down to it and you're going all out, rushing non stop, beasting some people, I swear to God, I did not notice that guy which I've just turned around then. I, I, like, once again, another one of these scenarios where I don't notice people. I literally, when I got shot in the back then with the shotgun, I didn't notice that I literally just, like, uh, spun around and, like, he was right in front of my screen. I didn't notice that the first time around while I was playing or while watching the back. But there, once again, more luck. You know what I'm saying? Maybe my skill helped save me by me sprinting around the bus and getting out of his, like, line of sight or whatever you want to say, line of fire or whatever. But still... Initial lock because he knew I was there anyway because I was firing from there. Granted, it was with a suppressed weapon, but you could have seen like the trace or anything like that. So you know what I'm saying? It's all it's all down to this, mate. It's all down to this. Seriously, man, it's interesting. People say make your own luck. It's not about that. It's about getting lucky within the game itself. Look right there. Had to reload. This guy could have like done anything. He could have run up to me, knife me. You could have shot me anything, me anything. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, your fault. I wasn't gonna do it, but I will do it. <coughs> I love gold. 
the touch of it, the taste of it, the smell of it. I love gold. <laughs> Smoking a pancake. Ah, 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 ah. Enough of that. Uh, anyway, right. Moving on, we'll be doing like we do. Yeah. So, like I said, I dropped them both very soon. It's literally within like two seconds. Three. Oh, well, three seconds. Three, two. Oh wait, no. I'm thinking. Of Oh, I'm getting all confused now, and now I make myself look like an idiot, but where's the change there then? Hey, but anyway, moving on with it, right? Yeah, so, like I was saying, disputable, first ever rushing mob, rushing mobs, compared to achievable mobs, you know what I mean? You're taking a lot of risks by rushing, and a lot of luck comes into play. That's an undeniable fact. Anybody that says otherwise clearly doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. That's the scenario about it, you know what I'm saying? Right right there as well, for instance. This guy, I was waiting for my teammate to come along and hopefully rush out. I let him come up to the uh, the top of the stairs. And I heard a noob... Uh, I can't even get my words out. I heard a noob tube come flying past me. I was like, F that, and I ran away. You know what I'm saying? Like that, so... It's all about it's all about these scenarios, yeah? It's not, not giving them the chances. Keeping the advantages to yourself. Everything like that, seriously. But anyway, yeah, once again. The mobs coming up here. Three, two, one. Bingo, bongo. There it goes. And I'll call it in instantaneously. Here's another little interesting tip, right? The mob, right? It's interesting because people... What I'm seeing at the moment, anyway, is that people decide to kind of, like, keep the mob and drop the mob at the end of the game. Personally, I think that's a really stupid idea because the second you get the mob, right? Granted, if you're trying to work on like a double mob or something like that, I can understand if you want to hold on to it a little bit for a little bit. But still, on top of that, once you've got the mob, yeah, the most logical and greatest idea for you to do for your team is to call the mob in. And reason behind that is. Having the entire game with the enemies EMP'd is like an amazing advantage. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand why people wouldn't do that to set themselves up for the double mob. Instead of see people like holding on to the mobs and then they just go like try and get on another 25 kill streak or something like that. Successful or unsuccessful, it doesn't really matter. But still the fact behind it is dropping the mob, having the enemy team be EMP'd for the entire like remainder of the game or whatever you want to say like that then you know what I mean it's a pretty it's a pretty good kind of aspect or advantage to have you know what I'm saying like that and here I kind of go on like a couple of death streaks now I mean well I say death streaks I just get a couple of stupid deaths really if I'm gonna be honest I'm trying to like play the objective and make sure we keep the objective to get the win in the end and like I don't know these enemies are kind of going really try hard so you know I'm trying to work him, you know, burn him down, everything like that, trying to keep the flags. You know, it's all, it's all about that. Once you've got the mob and once you've done with it, I probably could have gone for a double mob in this if it would have, like, proper went ham. But the fact of the matter is I'd rather just go for the, uh, the objective in the end of it and just, you know, finish the game out with a win. Because it was pretty close. I'm not going to lie, throughout this game, it was a couple of tense, close moments where if it didn't do this or if it didn't kill this guy off the flag, then maybe we wouldn't have had this much of a significant point lead you know it's the little things like that, that you gotta take note of and everything like that but anyway yeah well, well, anyway like I was saying recap, recapping up doing like I do uh, achievable mobs compared to rushing mobs arguably one of my first ever rushing mobs that I brought to my channel uh, dropping the mob before you try and go on another streak as to uh, as to disorientate the enemy and give yourself a further advantage uh, I love gold, uh, and that's probably about it. I don't know what else I spoke about. Uh, you know how I do it like I do. But anyway, that's all i got to say for now, and uh, peace!